Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to talk about static methods in Python. A static method is a method that belongs to a class rather than any object from that class, any instance. Instance methods, we're already familiar with them. They are methods that belong to individual objects created from that class. They're best for operations on instances of that class, any objects. Whereas static methods, they're best for utility functions within a class that do not need access to class data. I'll demonstrate the differences between an instance method and a static method. We'll begin by creating a class of employee. We'll need a constructor. Let's define that. To create an employee object, we'll need a name and a job position. We will assign self.name equals name, self.position equals position. We will create an instance method of get info. We will return employee info. We will return an F string where we will display self.name equals self.position. Get info is an instance method. Each object that we create from this class will have their own get info method to return the information on that object, the object's name and the object's position. Now we'll create a static method. To create a static method, we need a decorator of static method. Static methods are best for general utility functions within a class. We'll define a method to check to see if a job, a position is valid, which we will name is valid position. So static methods, they don't have self as the first argument. We're not working with any objects created from this class. To check to see if a position is valid, we will pass in a job position, which I will name as position. I will create a list of valid positions. Let's assume that our company is the Krusty Krab. What are some valid positions? A manager is a valid position, a cashier, a cook, then let's say a janitor. Then we will return. We'll use a membership operator. Check if position that we receive is in our list of valid positions. What we have done is that we have created a static method. We don't need to rely on any objects to use this method. For example, to use a static method, we will use the name of the class rather than any object that we create from this class, such as this. We don't need to do that. We type the class name followed by the static method is valid position. Then I did set this up to accept one argument. Let's check to see if a cook is a valid position. Then I do need to print this. What is the output? A cook is a valid position. What about a rocket scientist? That would probably be Sandy's job. That is false. A rocket scientist is not a valid position at the Krusty Krab. This is a static method. It belongs to the class, not any object created from that class. Now let's create a few employee objects. Let's say employee one equals a new employee. We have to pass in a name and a job. Eugene will be the first name. That's Mr. Krabs. He will be a manager. Employee two equals employee. Squidward will be a cashier. Employee three equals employee. Employee three will be SpongeBob. SpongeBob will be a cook. To call an instance method, we have to access one of the instances of the class in order to use it. If I want to check the info on employee one, I will access that object, that instance, use the get info method, 
then I need to print it. Take employee one, get the info. Eugene is the manager. Let's do this with employee two and employee three. Eugene, Mr. Krabs is the manager. Squidward is the cashier. SpongeBob is the cook. For an instance method, you access an object, then call the instance method. With the static method, you only need to access that class. You don't even need to create any objects from that class. It's a general utility method. All right, everybody, those are static methods. They're a method that belongs to a class rather than any objects created from that class. They're usually used for general utility functions that do not need access to class data. And well, everybody, those are static methods in Python.